Hello everyone. Well, I realize it's been a couple weeks since I published my last video, and I just wanted to share with everyone what I've been up to since then. Um, in my trailer, I mentioned about the Miller-Urey experiment. This was an experiment which was done at the University of Chicago in 1952 by a man named Stanley Miller, who was a graduate student at the time, and by uh, also his mentor, uh, Harold Urey. Okay, and what they did was they were trying to simulate uh, the conditions on the prebiotic earth. And so what they did was they took a flask, uh, filled it with water, or halfway with water, and they uh, brought it to a boil, and they collected the water vapor, and they mixed that with, uh, with gases, which they thought were uh, constituents of the early earth. Namely, these were hydrogen, methane, and ammonia. And to simulate lightning on the early earth, they uh, exposed the, the mixture of water vapor and gases to an electric, an electric spark. And so what, what I have here is um, basically my version of the Miller-Urey apparatus. And in the coming weeks, I intend to try to replicate uh, what they did. Okay, and so what, let me explain what we have here. Uh, in the heating mantle, we have a thousand milliliter um, round bottom flask, and uh, which I'm going to fill with water, and uh, then I'm going to bring that to a, a slight boil, and the water vapor vapor will rise, and it will mix with gases, uh, the gases um, methane, ammonia, and hydrogen, which I will have in the suspended flask, uh, which you can see above there. And uh, for the electric spark, I have a spark gap igniter, which produces an electric charge of 80,000 volts. And so let me give you a demonstration of the, the spark gap igniter. So here we go. Okay. It's kind of hard to operate the camera with one hand. Okay, so here we have the flask with the spark gap igniter. And so now we're going to um, give it a charge. And as you can see, we have a nice electric spark there. Um, and I'm operating this via remote control. And um, so that's it, basically. And so in the coming weeks, I will be trying to replicate the Miller-Urey experiment and uh, well so that's that's what I've been up to um, and also I will be doing the fatty acid experiment as well prior to that uh, but I this is really the big one that everyone wants to see you want to make sure that you stay tuned for this Miller-Urey experiment because this is really going to be something so I just wanted to thank everyone for watching and that's it.